The price alert panel indicator is offered for various platforms on the Trading Finder website. From this section, you can download the indicator file for MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 and run it on your chart. Traders can also read this page to understand how the indicator works and how to use it. From the navigator section, we select the indicator file and run the indicator by dragging it onto the chart. Just make sure to activate the Allow DLL Imports option in the comment section and then click the OK button. Select and run the indicator by dragging it onto the chart. Enable Allow DLL Imports in Common, then click OK. A panel opens in the top left of the chart. Just make sure to activate the Hello Dealer option in the Common section, and then click the Confirm option. Once the indicator is installed, a panel will open for us at the top left of the chart. The Price Alert panel sets alerts on price levels. Four options. Normal mode for both ask and bid. Alerts only for ask, only for bid, or based on the previous candle's close. Next sections cover default alert settings. First button sets alert at current candle's highest price, second at lowest. In the panel's first part, four options are available. The normal mode sets alerts on both ask and bid prices. You can activate alerts only for the ask or bid price or based on the previous candle's close. The next sections relate to alert settings, configurable by default. Clicking the first button sets an alert at the current candle's highest price. The second button sets it at the lowest price. The third option averages these two alerts. You can choose a price and apply settings. Here, I set an alert at 10,000, which I can adjust. Alerts are sent based on the previous candle's close. The next section covers alert settings with three modes, pop-up, email, and push alerts configurable here. The third option sets the alert for you, letting you set your price. Alert settings include pop-up, email, and push notifications. Settings include input options for price level. Set price level in panel or settings. Alert settings default to false, changeable to true. The next section is about the Hashtar settings, which have three modes. Pop-up, which sends you the Hashtar as a notification. Email Hashtar, which sends you an email. And Push Hashtar, which sends you the Hashtar through the application in the Settings section. In the Input section, there are options where the first three parts set the price level. Set the price level in the panel or settings to your desired level. Alert settings are false by default, but can be true. Alert type can be normal, for both ask and bid, only ask, only bid, or closing price. Configure this in the price panel. Display settings can have a background and be moved to price candles or not. The next section is about the type of alert settings. Alerts for ask and bid prices, ask or bid only, or on closing price. The next part is on display settings. Set background, move it on price candles. You can set the highest, lowest, and average alert levels, customizable with preferred colors. The next section covers display settings, allowing a background option and positioning on price candles. Set alert levels, highest, lowest, average, with custom colors. Adjust alert line type, default solid, line thickness, and alert panel distance on X and Y axis, default 15 pixels. Set alert levels with colors. Choose line type, adjust thickness, and panel x-axis distance. Change y-axis distance. Move price panel to other corners. You can set the type of drawing of the Hashtar line, which is set to solid mode by default. You can set the size of the line. And you can change the distance of the Hashtar panel on the x-axis to the page, which is based on pixels. You can change the distance of the Hashtar panel on the y-axis, which is set to 15 by default. In the next section, you can change the position of the price panel, which is set to the top left by default. You can adjust it to other positions like the top right, some left A, or bottom right.
The next section is about the custom theme for the indicator with four options, auto, light, dark, and custom. Choosing the auto option, only candle colors change, bullish candles turn green, bearish turn red, choosing light applies a light template, choosing dark applies a dark template, choosing custom keeps your template only applying the indicator. I choose dark, leave price levels default, then click OK. I can now move the price panel. My panel has a background and price candles show on my alert panel. Setting the option to true shows my alert panel on the price. By selecting the dark option, only a dark template will be applied to the chart. And by choosing the custom option, you can keep your personalized template and only run the indicator on the chart. Here, I select the dark template and leave the price levels at their default settings. Then click the OK button. Here I can change the price panel to my desired position, as shown on the chart. My panel is the same as the background, and the price candles are displayed on my indicator panel. If I set the option to true in the settings section, my indicator panel will be displayed on the price. Well friends, we've reached the end of this indicator tutorial. We would love to hear your comments and suggestions in the comments section. We would be happy to hear your comments and suggestions in the comments section.